Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is the founder and executive director of the Institute for Progressive Medicine in Irvine, Dr. Alan Sawson. He joins us to discuss a non-invasive medical procedure to treat heart disease called EECP therapy. Good to have you with us, Doctor. Thanks, Tracy. Tell us a little bit about heart disease because we have a very, we have an aging population. We have around, what, 78 to 80 million baby boomers. So a lot of people that are heading into this point in their life where they're having heart disease and a lot of people are having stints put in, but that's an invasive medical procedure. Tell me what you can about heart disease. Well, heart disease has been talked about for many years. It's yeah. still, with all the interventions that have been created, all the medications, all the things we know about it, the causes and how to handle it, is still the number one cause of death in this country. Okay. And I know women, a lot of times, a lot of the focus was on men, and now we're starting to realize that a lot of women have heart disease also. Right. Women get it a little bit later than guys do. They get it around the age of 60 instead of 50 or 45, but they get just as much as men do. So both of us are afflicted by this. Traditionally, and I know a lot of people actually that have had stints put in, how have we normally treated heart disease? And why do we need to have that free flow of the blood going to our heart? Well, the heart is supplied by three major arteries, and if those arteries get clogged up and there's a blockage, then that part of the heart that's supplied by the artery dies. And then people have heart attacks, and sometimes they have heart failure. They can have sudden death. Those are the things that occur. So the treatments are really all aimed toward increasing cardiac blood flow and getting that muscle more blood, more oxygen. And I do know people that after they've had those stints put in, they say, my gosh, I feel so much better, but there's a reason for it because you're now getting more oxygen into your heart. Right. The stent opens up a blocked artery, okay. so you're improving the flow through that. It's like having a freeway that's clogged up with cars, and then you're removing the cars, and now things can flow through again. Now, the bad side of this is, number one, it's invasive, and anything invasive can go wrong. And the second thing is, it's pretty expensive, isn't it? Stents are expensive. They run about $30,000. Bypasses cost about three times that. Wow. And the thing about stents is that they can relieve chest pain, which they do, and they can prevent damage from a heart attack that's occurring, but they have not been shown to prolong life. That's been a major finding in the last few years, that you can put a stent into somebody, but it doesn't make them live any longer. It basically is there for reducing symptoms. But it doesn't fix the, the underlying problem. No, it does not. Interesting. So what is this EECP therapy? What is that? Well, EECP is enhanced external counterpulsation, which is I'm something... I'm so glad the doctor says and said that. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to work on that for a while. But it's a treatment I love. I've been working with it for about 15 years. Okay. And it's totally non-invasive. It's a way of improving cardiac circulation, getting blood to those muscles in the heart without doing anything invasive. It's totally non-invasive. So explain, somebody lays down and they sit down on their back and what happens? What physically happens to somebody? Now you're lying on a table, reading your book or just closing your eyes and three cuffs are placed. Two around the calves, two around the thighs, and two around the waist. And those cuffs are inflated with air and it's timed with a cardiac cycle. So every time the heart relaxes, which is the time when the heart vessels are filled with blood, those uh, cuffs inflate and they push blood up the aorta into the heart. So you have all this flow of blood going through the heart muscle, through the heart vessels, and that creates new circulation. So you're actually creating new blood vessels with EECP. Okay. It's like doing a natural bypass. And so you don't just have one of these, you generally have to have a series of these, is that correct? Yes, it's a series of one hour treatments, usually a total of 35 treatments. And roughly how much is the cost for this? I mean, obviously it depends how many treatments you have and the seriousness of your disease, but roughly what is the cost? It's roughly about $6,000 for the whole series. Oh my goodness. So the idea is it opens up whole new areas to get the, the, um, the blood and the oxygen into your heart so you don't have to have a stent procedure. Right, right. And basically it's forming new blood vessels. So even if the blocked blood vessels are badly damaged, you're finding all these collateral circulations being created because the heart has hundreds of collaterals. They're very tiny. EECP makes them larger. This is incredible. All right. Well, anything we can think of that reduces costs for health care and makes our lives a little healthier is certainly better. Thanks for your time, sir. Thank you for watching Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Wait till your father hears about this. I left him a message at home. Walk, don't run. Yes, this is Principal Rooney. It seems your son caused quite a disruption in class today. One new message. A chicken? Really? We'll talk when I get home. Check voicemails online and manage other calling features. Introducing Charter Phone Online Manager.